Hey there, Pisces. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. I'm going to pull from the Animal Spirit Oracles today and the Naked Heart Tarot. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started for Pisces. Angels, ancestors, universe, guides, God, only love and light. What are the messages for Pisces today? Please and thank you so much. First card out. Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. I don't know why, but I really, really like this card. 23 breaks down to a 5. Speaks of changes. Ch -ch changes. Oh my gosh. Fly like an eagle. Yes, the eagles. Okay, okay. Mouse spirit, tend to the little things. You know, this is pretty fucking obvious. And I really hope it's not what I think. I hope it's not that somebody is like coming for you, preying on you, viewing you as a mouse. I hope that's not what this message is. Um, I really hope it's, you are looking for sustenance and you are going to find it. Whatever it is you need to feel fulfilled, you're going to see it. I don't know. It could be the circle of life. It could be a warning. At the bottom of the deck, I do have Panther Spirit, which is talking about reclaim your power. So if this is a warning for you, especially with 444, if this is a warning for you that somebody like has their eye on you, just know you are absolutely protected because you might be out in the open feeling like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? My hands are tied. I can't just do pull an Alice, and drink the magic potion or eat the magic fucking cookies and, and grow a whole bunch. What am I supposed to do? Four, four, four. You trust you trust and believe that you are protected. Also, you find out who it is that's that's looking at you like they're going to come for you. And you do everything in your power to get out of that situation. I really hope this is not a pickle, but let's find out. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Let this be. You need sustenance. And here it is. And it's being protected for you. Please let this be positive. A couple of the messages today have been really heavy. That might actually have to do with the weather. Um, it's snowing really hard. I was actually supposed to go out later and I don't think I can. Um, I haven't heard the snow plows come through once yet. So um, when there's heavy snow coming down, that is a lot of negative energy that's being released. You ever notice the winds of change? Yes, change is good, but those winds are going to cause some damage. You know what I mean? There might be some power outages too over it. Um, or the rain. Yes, we need the rain, but it can cause floodings and stuff. And even though it's washing away the old, it can also like... Whatever, you get where I'm going. Three of swords in reverse. I think I was taking too much time trying to spit that out. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. This is good. This is good. This is also saying don't stop doing what you're working on. You're healing from a separation. You're healing from a heartbreak. Some of you guys are really hurt. Or you were. You were really hurt when you found out this person that you were trying to work with. Or build something with has been preying on you this whole time. Others of you, okay, you were looking for work, you were looking for a job, and you found it. 
You've got your eyes on it and you're going to reclaim your power, reclaim your stability, your independence, your security, even your self-worth and value, feeling good about getting back out there and, you know, doing what it is that you do. It's also helping to heal you. It's helping to make you feel better. I'm getting both stories out of this. this the eight of swords eight eight that talks about abundance the eight of swords is like intrusive thoughts negative thinking it can also be mirrored energies too so like if somebody's trying to project things onto you and be like oh it's all their fault no nobody's falling for that but it is really disappointing that they would do that it's also very disrespectful and Quite frankly, it's uncalled for. I have a feeling that whatever this person has against you, it's not even legit or like that's their fucking problem. That's a personal problem. They don't need to be coming at you. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like you have something they don't. This is evil eye. That's been coming out in a lot of their readings. A cleanses all around. <laughs> Pisces, let's see. Yep, yep, this person just <sighs> throwing every jab they can, lying about you, preying on you, dragging your name, setting you up, embarrassing you. Yeah, and you're just pulling away from that. You're like, I'm good. I don't fucking need none of that. I can do bad all on my own, and I'm just not trying to do that. Some of you are going within and doing some soul searching because you did fall for this. This could be a past event, though, is what I'm getting. Because I feel like currently you're in a similar situation, but you're not falling for it this time. Been there, done that. I don't fucking think so, right? I love how we have the Eight of Swords because Eights always go to the Ten, and then right after is the Ten of Swords. We also have the Eight of Pentacles, though, and that would go to the Ten of Pentacles. So when you go within and you do all that healing, right, you become more aligned with your legacy, the things that you're here to create and receive and build, even leave behind. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, heart of cups in reverse. You've just got no more love for that, you know, that situation anymore. Some of you guys might be a little upset because you, you maybe ignored your intuition here, but, you know, we know now that this person is just heartless and we need to not let them have access to our heart because the only thing they're going to do is hurt it. They don't deserve your love. They don't deserve your compassion. They don't deserve your intuitive nudges. They don't deserve your protection. They don't deserve any of that. They forfeited that the day they decided to come for your fucking head. Yeah, and they can just never, never give back what you already invested in them. Spirit of Wands. That's the King of Wands. Taking the lead in this situation and being like, enough is enough. Innocence of Swords. You could be speaking some truth about how this person burdens you and it's just too much pressure and how you're really trying to move on, but you feel like they're holding you back. This is a breakup. Whatever this connection is, you're breaking up. Yeah, there's no hope left. You've given up hope, not on yourself, not for a, a potential future something that's the real thing, right? But just in this situation, it takes a lot to get the Queen of Cups to cut somebody out. You have to be a real fucking piece of work to get the Queen of Cups, the Heart of Cups, to go in reverse. <sighs> I know it's hard, but you are absolutely doing what's best. Not just for you, but for this person too. Because the more you let them stick around, the more you let them do wrong to you, the more nasty karma they're going to acquire. 
So you're kind of saving yourself from further difficulties from them, and you're also saving themselves from burying them deeper and deeper into a hole here. We've got Aquarius, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, and Virgo on the board. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.